My name's Carl and uh, my nickname is Sniper Oz and I'm from Australia. Uh, my background in education, I'm a carpenter by trade, so most of my life I'm building houses, so totally different to computers. I uh, will get uh, probably started off with gaming. Um, I building computers. Uh, one of the systems I had had a Future Mark um, CD in it, and I just ran it. And from there, it's tried to increase my score. So overclocking sort of took off. Look, I, I bought a top end system. So and just having it become like a chase for the better frame rates with benchmarks. So it wasn't necessarily getting better frames or gaming, but the, just the chasing better scores, trying to beat other people, just sort of was uh, evolved on a on the EVGA website. So yeah, I, I really it really hooked, you know. And it's probably being a little bit older, like um, financially, it wasn't. It was sort of one of those things that you, I could sort of keep improving and and um, yeah, it sort of grew grew from there. And then I found HWB, so then it just all. My life changed. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not sure whether it was for the better or not. I went from there and I, I did a competition in Sydney um, for, with a gigabyte. Um, sort of, a, I think it was a, a side side competition to the GOOC qualifiers, and uh, I won that. So obviously, Dino and the boys from Team AU were there, and it was probably six to six months later. They, sort of invited me to come to a, yeah, an event. To be honest, uh, a couple of years ago when I modded the Titan X, um, uh, sorry, I modded the Titan, the first Titan that was uh, available, and the from modding it to getting it to work and overclocking and achieving, you know, world records with that card, that, the, the whole direction, that whole, time was just really solid like uh, there was a lot of work <laughs> we, we spent a week just trying to get one card to work properly and efficient and then uh, yeah and, I, and watching the guys mod them and I realized that I could I could do that at home so and that's what I did I, I modded it and then I it was actually a good card it turned out to be a good card and it got a number of well, a single card records so yeah. Overclocking today from when I first started, uh, it's a little little different, probably a lot more people involved. Um, there's, there's, we're still sort of in limbo, like there's, uh, we're still trying to find our way, I think. Uh, but look, there's a lot of different opinions. Uh, so we've, got to, we've also got to be careful not to uh, get lost, I suppose. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what the the final result or if there ever will be, but uh, the the biggest the biggest thing is we we can't sort of all fall apart, I suppose. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. Well, look, the con the whole concept of the rookie division and the the novice division and everything is solid. Like it's it's uh, it's taken off, um, very popular. Uh, the fact that people can get involved at lower, lower end systems um, with systems they got at home and they've been playing games on that sort of thing that's you know that's where we all start I suppose the the biggest thing is HW what needs to make sure that those people have a direction to head um, all the way through to whether they make it to pro or extreme or, or whatever they've still everyone's still got to have a place and we can't forget everyone because you know, we have, I'm not sure of the figures, but there's a huge influx of rookies at the moment with XTU and, um, and then one, seeing them drop away as they get, things get a little bit more difficult, I suppose, or um, they lose the competitive side, I'm not sure, yeah. But very good, like the, the, the whole concept of the rookie, rookie um, league, division, division yeah, uh, is, Solid, yeah, and it's obviously working, yeah. And that, that's how it all works. Um, the 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 idea of rookie to pro, it, it, we've all been there. Like we've we've all had to struggle, you know, buy things, and but you've, we've also still got to see those guys up there um, 
to attain to that level. You know, they're, they're, you don't want to get to a point and think, oh, it's not worth trying harder because I can't c compete with those guys. We've all been at that, that point where we, um, you know, we, we, our hardware can only go so far. So, but, um, look, it's, it's it'd be good to be a rookie at the moment, <laughs> to be yeah. honest, because there's a lot, lot for them. Uh, yeah. yeah. Starting off being a rookie, um, I'd recommend uh, spend time. It's time, effort, learn the system yourself. Um, don't rely on other people necessarily on what they're telling you to how to do it. Learn, learn to do things yourself, and, and learn um, how to how to think outside the box. You know, uh, you know that's how we all we all proceed further and different ideas. Uh, it's, that's the biggest thing is keep trying. I'm not sure, look, I, if there was a way of changing the binning process, uh, I, I think uh, as much as I said earlier that we've got to learn to live with it, it's what hurts. Um, the, it, t it takes a, a lot of the, you know, in competition, if you know someone has got a bit better hardware, better CPU, uh, better graphics card, and you just know that they've got it, what do you do? Like, it, you know, LN2 can cost five, six hundred dollars for a session or a competition. Um, that's a lot of money to invest in something that you know you can't attain. So, what, what, how do we change that? Taiwan, that's a beautiful place. You know, it's it's one of those those places that you you doesn't matter what time of year it is. It's all, everyone's smiling and happy and um, friendly, and it's one of the one of the places that you can sort of go and it's safe. Yeah, I like. It.